on the sofa with yours truly, Esther Austin. Well, isn't it a real pleasure to see you again? Um, it's a little chilly in London today, but you know what? But the guest that I have on with me today is going to be really hot in the studio. So without further ado, and I'm mega, mega, mega excited, I will be co-hosting the show with the incredible Sherry Oh no, I've done the wrong, th no, 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 not Sherry Payne. Oh my days, how did I do that? I'm gonna change that quickly, but I'm gonna bring her on now. <laughs> Suzanne. <laughs> my supreme oh. sister always is in my life. It's wonderful. <laughs> oh, it's such a silly thing, my days. Right, I'm going not to rectify all. that right now. Okay, this is what I love about um, technology. You can rectify. Amen. Me. Amen to that. That right now, right? Let's just scroll that. Yes. Fantastic. Got it. Got it. <laughs> oh my days. You know, sometimes I mean it's a last minute thing, but my dog, right? I was all set up, ready to rock and roll. Yeah. And then the dog, I can hear him dragging his um bed, and then he runs in here with this big stick. I'm like I've taken you out. You're supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> That's so funny. It's, our dogs rule our lives. <laughs> Not to How are you, anymore. Esther? You look fabulous. I'm trying. I'm trying. I I am very well. I'm incredibly busy, but um, it's a it's a manageable busy, but also it's a good busy to say because, you know, after I would say after about fifteen, almost twenty years of working on my path towards my dreams especially this yes. year it started to open up because i've been like come on dudes come on it's time you know <laughs> my middle yeah. name had to become patience for a while um had to become patience but you know i'm now seeing the doors are really opening i still got to keep my foot on the pedal as i drive through but you know the doors are opening and um yes. and i feel really privileged and you know part of that platform is on the sofa and i just feel very privileged to have you co-hosting this with me tonight suze well how fun and and i'm just delighted to be here you know i'm a fan for life of you and your on your journey mm -hmm. um, because it in some ways and in a lot of ways we we cross paths absolutely and, and the, that drive is there that drive in your spirit you know I, I'm there, I feel that. Yeah. For many of us who've done so many other things, you know, so many other things, we're on this path right now. And mm. I'm honored to see you. You look fantastic. And I love the blue. I will tell you why later, because that's a, <laughs> that's a big thing, you know? But um, it's my honor. Thank you, thank you. And it's interesting because it started off blue. I, it was sky blue in the summer and it, there was just an energy around the sky blue. And then as I washed it, it's become a mixture of its own. My hair always does its own thing. So it's almost like slight hints of blue, but green. And yeah. it's almost like, and I feel think you would understand this. I My soul feels what I need to do and I dream how I need to look. Yes, of course. Yeah. Of course. Um, yes. And yeah, so I'm going through it. It's all part of the transformation, as they say. All part of the it's transformation. It's kind of that time, isn't it? It's yeah. kind of very, a, very transformative for all of us in so many yeah. different ways. And that's exciting. Ooh, there's <laughs> so much going on mm -hmm. in tech, in this culture. Mm. in intellect, in mm. knowledge that we didn't have years and years ago and have now, and the tools to do all of our dreams. Yes, That's absolutely. Absolutely. And I think, you know, especially during lockdown, I mean, you know, lockdown was different things to, to all of us. You know, it was incredibly, I think, for what I can say for, for everyone, it was challenging. However, some of us have come through it a little stronger, a little bit better or different, I should say. Whereas I know people are still in the struggle and it's just taken away so much that they're still trying to get out of the struggle. Um, but as you spoke yeah. about 
tech and how things are moving. I know for me, I've evolved so much and learned so much and grown so much and expanded so much. Oh yes, that's the better, isn't it? It's, it's the personal better. How yeah. everyone seems to be realizing we've got to heal ourselves first and, and be who we want to be or who we want others to be. Absolutely. So it's, I think it's one of the most important times in so many ways in our whole lives. And we've seen some pretty stunning things mm. as human beings. We have. We've seen all kinds of stuff. <laughs> you know? But right now, it's, I think that this pandemic has been for us to screech to a halt and, and look at ourselves in the world and see what we want it to be next and, and to go for it, you know, to go make it be that. Yeah. And you know, it's interesting. I love it. I knew we were going to have a fantastic conversation about so many things because we're going to we do this. Yeah. We always do. So we're going to dip into this type of conversation, but then we're also going to dip into what you are doing as one of the former Supremes, as well as a children's book that you've got out, as well as, you know, co-hosting this um, event with me. And as you've seen by the lineup, we've got a stellar lineup of artists coming on. Now, I might have got my timing wrong, people. I do apologize because our clocks went back this morning. And so I think I might have got my timings in the States um, a little skewed, but you know, either way, as they say, the show must go on. So I do apologize if I might have slipped up with the, the timings, but um, I do know that everybody will be on and um, we're going to have a fantastic time today. And look at you sunning it up on oh my girl that's that's why i'm in california <laughs> you know you know when i came outside and i sat down it was freezing and i went back freezing i was so cold i had to go back in and get a coat mm -hmm. it was gray and i thought oh it might rain today mm -hmm. and as i'm sitting here suddenly the sun has come out and it's time to hey you know that's why we wind up where we are <laughs> absolutely absolutely um so there's someone facebook user sorry sometimes it comes up as facebook users so if you can identify yourself i'm not sure why that comes up but someone says inspiring words ladies super proud ah. Esther. thank you so much so um if you could just identify yourself because on the screen it just comes up as facebook user but thank you so much for joining us so what i'm going to do now um i'm going to play a track that I feel is going to really embody the conversations I'm going to have this evening with the beautiful women that are coming on. And so we're going to go over to an ad break. And on the other side, um, Suze Green is going to be co-hosting with me. And we're going to be talking to Kyrie Simone, a beautiful UK artist. Now, how I met Kyra was many years ago. I, I, I actually have done an album myself. I co I wrote several poems which was put to music and at the time I wasn't really comfortable to um, sing on the album so um, I had you know looked for an artist to come on and Kyra was one of those artists and it's a Valentine um, album but it, it was before its time and I feel maybe now is the time to bring it out but she did a stellar job and she's got an incredible voice incredible yes, she does yes she does she's yeah she's i would say incredible um so she's a uk artist and then also there's a young girl called three bomb she's 21 maybe 22 now but she also is on fire she is really connected and she's on fire and she's always a blessing a power source to have on and then also there's melonix um the duo melonix they are very much about um, the black woman and, and her essence. And they, they you know, two beautiful singers, Georgia and yeah. um, Nadia. And then last but not least, Tyra Lavon from the USA, another powerful female yeah. whose, you know, music is absolutely incredible. So <laughs> yeah. without further ado, I'm going to play a track which I feel resonates with the women that I have here in this stage with me today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I've, I've got to be. Yeah, I've noticed that all my all those that were watching are off. I've just got a message that because I think I played the Chaka Khan video, Warner Music has blocked my video. Oh, you're joking! Wow, because wow, hey. no what no one what. Mm. Okay, we're going to continue because it's been recorded, and I'm hoping that it's going out somewhere um hello anyway hi so we'll How you do? On. <laughs> hello <laughs> well ladies and gents this is you're listening to on the sofa with esther um the show's gonna go on the show is going to go on well i'd just like to introduce you this is my co-host um suze green from the former supremes hi. <laughs> hi lovely to see you today yeah. lovely to be lovely. alive oh it's absolutely amazing absolutely amazing <laughs> yeah. and this, i'm trying and to get this thing sorted properly <laughs> and this lovely lady is kyra simone a uk artist um who i've known for a while and i say that she's got the voice of an angel the voice of an angel um so yes thank you for joining us kyra oh she's frozen looks like she's frozen wow she, yeah, she said she said she's trying to sort it out but. right so we're going to continue we're going to continue but sure. i want my i want those my watchers to come back on it's gone to zero there was about 32 people watching well we just party and show it to them later <laughs> that's right that's right okay we're back on facebook user okay so suze let's continue our conversation so suze let us know you know what has suze been doing um Ooh. with herself i know you've been doing a lot yes. you're a woman who's always got a finger in many pies yes yes i uh, i have been very busy for about a year and a half i've been um creating a company called capital code Mm -hmm. which I'm, I'm so glad to be one of the founders of, along with Anita Varavata. Mm -hmm. And Anita is a, a tech genius, really. She lives in Silicon Valley and around the world. Mm -hmm. And she develops all kinds of software and things for our culture and for our future. And we decided to examine what the word capital means. And most people think about it as money or finances, mm. but we we realized it it's many many things. Primarily, influence and culture. Mm. Okay, so we interviewed a lot of people for our show, Capital Code, from quantum physicists to. Oh, wow. writers, successful bestseller writers, and people who work in deep tech, even people who 
advocate for the differently abled world. So wow. lots of lots of areas we went into, plus policy, you know, uh, it's actual how governments are doing around the world. And just to since our, our lovely carrots is is back, I'll just wrap it up. Quickly. I am. I'm not. I'm not. Too, I'm not too sure what happened there. I'm just going to try. You yeah. know, I'm not too sure. What it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, we're, we're, we're we understand. Look, we we get this. We get this. Um, yeah. as they said, the term was yeah. going on. So before you flip out again, um, Kyra, I just wanted to just thank you so much for coming on my show. It's a real blessing. Um, and like You're I said, so you welcome. got the voice of an angel. It's it's so stunning. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, yes, thank you so voice. much. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about kissing, you know, kissing, kissing you, kissing you. This you know, track. You know, when I wrote this track, I really wanted to home in on the powerful connection, the powerful energy you can have from a kiss. And, you know, some people feel it's quite superficial, but for me, it's quite an in-depth, emotional, energetic exchange Absolutely. of energies. And it can be truly healing, which is what I was talking about in the song. And um, I just wanted to compare it to just the essence of life, you know, the things that give you joy, the things that give you bliss, mm. and it can be in a kiss. Mm. Absolutely. Amen to that. And you know, on, I know that on this platform at this moment in time, there are three very powerful women, because um, we are about, we know about, we understand about energy, we understand yeah. about things beyond the physical. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's important because yes. everything that we are everything that we we see around us was once a yeah. thought something that was intangible and then it materialized into something tangible and yeah. that really shows the power of our thoughts and i'm still learning and growing around this as well <laughs> and learn to manage it but this thing with a kiss it's like you say I'm the sort of person, and I believe you ladies are the same as well, that if I am into something or into someone, I would give it my all because mm -hmm. um, for me, it's about being in that place where I'm honoring another. Exactly. And I don't take things lightly. And I believe that's when you talk about the kiss. Oh, Esther's I'm, gone. I'm gone. I'm still here. Yes, she's still here. I see her. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're back. back. You're back. Oh, All right. All right. <laughs> there, there must be some it's kind true. of, it's the energy flow of all of us. It's just messing it's with the Wi Fi. It's too powerful. It's too powerful. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's the it's weather, too. Powerful. It's the weather, too. You know, it's yeah. changeable very much at the moment. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. But I was, I was, I think I got the last piece of when you was talking about the exchange of energies and the power behind a kiss. And, you know, like I say, in, in this particular song, I even compare it to just the natural elements as well of the rain feeding the grass, feeding the plants. It's such a natural expression, you know, and, and even speaking about the sweet cry of singing praise you know, that it, that euphoria that you feel can be compared to a passionate kiss with somebody you just connect to energetically. And that person, you may not even know them. It doesn't have to be a scenario where you've got to know them over so many years. It Absolutely. could be you met them and then there's this instant connection and even in a touch, even in a look, even in a kiss, something happens that's astronomical and it's healing and it's powerful and it's encouraging and you can move forward with that and even with the touch even with the kiss you can manifest that into so many different creative outlets and heal yourself within that as well and that's it's what the song's cool. about <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs> that's pretty cool that's pretty cool and, and you know, to take it that deep, because some people may say that's pretty deep and, and, and we're, we're all on different levels, but there was something that Suze said when we were talking earlier in terms of this, this time of that self-reflection, this time of really standing back now, 
of yeah. really understanding what is it you really want who are you really where do you really mm. want to go that whole mm. thing of self not being selfish yeah. yes selfless yeah. to self that's right that's right and i think this yeah. is what i was i caught the last bit of what you were saying when you give yourself to something whether it even be a person a project mm. um a, 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 a piece of art that you've created you put your all in because when you put your all in that's when you manifest the beauty Everything. right sure and sure. you leave yourself vulnerable because not everybody will appreciate that you know 160 gazillion percent you put, that you put in Absolutely. you know but that's all part of it as well because mm. that's their path and you have yours you know mm. so you do leave yourself open and vulnerable and it's not for the faint-hearted mm. sure. and, and, sure. and also it's it is very much about being authentic with self as well yeah. you know I, I keep someone once said to me that i watch too much disney because i remember <laughs> many years ago when I, <laughs> when I was catapulted out of my marriage and that was a that was a lesson in itself. Mm -hmm. um and I said, I believe and I know that one day I will find my soulmate. And they thought, um, oh. and they thought that I'm gonna have to take this call in a minute, it's the um producer. But and they said, But you watch too much Disney. And I said, No, but no, I believe mm. it, but I was prepared to work on myself in order to get that. Um yeah. I'm and the thing is when you know in I know in my heart that I can be in a relationship that's honoring, because I use that word a lot, honoring, because mm -hmm. I'm honoring myself. But then when you get to that place where you're prepared to, because you honor yourself, you can honor a significant other. Mm -hmm. Now, whether they whether they are at that place or not, because- yeah. yeah, like I yeah. said, yeah. <laughs> it's a different thing. And I very yeah, much believe, yeah. and I'm just presenting this to you ladies as well, moving on from your song, because mm -hmm. your song, even though it's kissing you, it, it's there's so much in that. Kyra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. many layers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. in in terms of then being with a significant other and being vulnerable, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that open. To you. What is the vulnerability to you? That word, that one's tough. You know, the thing about being vulnerable, particularly for people who are problem solvers and world thinkers, you know, who have a very broad perspective of the world because the world is in our face now. It's not just mm -hmm. where we are and what we think, but it, it's a, all of us are affected. All of mm. us are affected by one thing. And because that one thing is so big and so around the world, we've connected in so many other ways. The whole art industry is different, digital, particularly for digital art. Mm -hmm. You know, you're vulnerable. You have to be vulnerable to be yeah. a creator. Yeah. To be a creator. Mm -hmm. That vulnerability is giving out what you were given as a talent, an obscure thing, mm -hmm. but personal. And that's why it's up to each of us as a creator now, particularly, to dig deeper than we've ever dug and mm. grasp onto what we've got that's unique. Mm -hmm. That's our creative DNA, yeah. our art, yeah. our music, our <laughs> dancing, our thinking, our, our nerdiness, you know, you, hey, <laughs> you've got to embrace yeah. all of your stuff right that's now. Because right. now I think the three of us and the other ladies coming, realize that you're coming out into the world in a new way, in a new level, mm -hmm. and you've got to be vulnerable enough to other human beings mm -hmm. in order to, for all of us, you know, we've got some stuff to do regardless of the mess. Mm -hmm. it's, it's messy, it's way messy. And we've been through such tough times just recently with politics and people, unspeakable acts mm. that have been put into the world because it's time, it's time. We've got to do some things together. That's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah, especially as Humanity. women. 
especially yeah. as Ooh. women. Absolutely. Yeah. Now's our time. Absolutely. Now's yeah. Our time. yeah. But also that's why it's so tough for some women right now around mm -hmm. the world because everybody can see that now is the time for women to come yeah. on with it and be, have equity, financial security, mm. time. Ah, oh, yep. A lot yeah, of stuff yeah. going I'm, on. I'm loving this. I'm <laughs> loving this energy. It's amazing. And do you see what's <laughs> like your song, Kyra, Kissing You, has just it's yes. expanded into something more and deeper mm. and richer. But I feel the basis for that song is you, I am giving my all. And that's what Suzanne is saying is I'm giving that's my right. all mm. to this. And, and I'm, I'm being vulnerable. vulnerable. Yeah. Yes. And I'm being awesome. open and I'm letting you know my vulnerabilities, not because I'm weak, but because I'm learning to trust in my own self. And in that self, I can build strength and endurance. There's the word. And that is the word strength. <laughs> Vulnerability. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes people think vulnerability, and it depends, is a place of weakness. But when you're vulnerable, if you allow yourself to see whatever you need to see in that place, there's a strength mm -hmm. after that. There is. Yes. Really yes. There is. I knew I got my times wrong. <laughs> the other artist that is just waiting in the wings. Oh no! I've taken up so much of your time already, but this has been amazing. No, no it's not you. No, it's not you because you know the clocks went back in the UK, and yeah. so um, I just got my my times um, sure, sure. mixed up. So Tyra, I sh I had asked her to come on at four, but because the clocks went back and I forgot, it's. Sure. Yeah, but never mind. We'll make it work. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> we, exactly. It's all this good. It's about we making it work. We make it work. And the dog. <laughs> oh my days! I'm gonna have to go over to a break. So on the other side of the break, I need to put this dog outside. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's adorable. Oh, I, love yeah. my I got my green screen, and if the green screen goes down, you're gonna see my bed full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're keeping it real. We're keeping it real, and I love. Before we go to a break, I forgot three seconds. I just love the the, the coming together of women and the love yeah. and the appreciation we can have with each other and the honesty that we can have with each other because like you said we're all in different places and sometimes we need to move to the left where someone else needs to move to the right and, and, we, and but we have to understand that though we have to be exactly we have to be strong enough within ourselves to be amongst other women mm -hmm. to, to, yeah. to 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 um respect that space without competing yeah. exactly thank you what we're going to do, you. gents, we're going to go over to a break. And this is live TV, as they said. <laughs> I'm just trying to. <laughs> there are a lot of people watching earlier. Um, I'm going to sort all this out. And, and you know, it, as they say in the industry, the show must go on now. Right. Kyra, I would That's love right. you to stay on for a little longer as well. Because okay. I know you've got little one. Um, yep. I love She's us with to... Daddy upstairs. <laughs> okay, Daddy's upstairs. That's fantastic. So, ladies yeah. and gents, you're listening to On the Sofa with me. Um, who co-hosting with me is the beautiful Susei Green, and also this dynamic artist, UK artist Kyra Simone, is talking about her um single "Kissing You." And look at how we've dissected it into something that's going to really inspire mm. and empower into your lives. See you. Oh my gosh. It's all... <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I absolutely love this. It's <laughs> all the way live. Yeah. See you on the other side. <laughs>
fucking do, bro? This is us! This is fucking us! Ah, you that went pen for man, <laughs> That's my man. That's him, fam. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm going to add another lady to the stream. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Am I supposed to stay? I'm not too sure. <laughs> yes, yes, we'd love you to stay if you don't mind. Okay, cool. No, um, of course. <laughs> hello. Well, I'm just going to introduce you one. Well, firstly, thank you, Tyra. This is Tyra Levon. Um, Hi. Hello. From the United States of America. We've got two USC people on tonight. Yeah. Hey. How are you? How are you? <laughs> My pleasure is mine. Thank you for having me. Hello. And Hello. this is and Susea Green is co-hosting with me today from the former <laughs> Supremes of the former Supremes. Yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> my pleasure Hi. to see both of you, all of you. Yeah. Well, Hi. um, first and foremost, um, I've got to say our clocks went back today, Tyra. So I got my US times a bit mixed up. But as yeah, they I say heard in you the industry, it. <laughs> it's okay. It's as they right say in the industry, the, sh the show must go on, right? Exactly. The show must go on. Fantastic. Exactly. And so um, this young lady here is Kyra. She's a UK artist. Yes, so, I was listening to your song. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, Thank love you it. so much. Love it. And I've just played um, Tyra's latest wishing 
on a star, wishing on the star. Mm -hmm. Um, beautiful. I just love both your voices because they're very deep, they're very rich. And as we were talking about Kyra's track, Kissing You, you know, she mm -hmm. talks about the, the, not just the sentiments, but the meaning and what it embodies. Mm -hmm. And I know with you, Tara's read after doing your brief, um, you, your songs are about people's struggles. Mm -hmm. Oops, someone's gone. Oh. <laughs> someone's gone. <laughs> popped away it's okay it's okay the show's gonna go on i don't care. right right <laughs> um so what i'd like to ask you tyra you know in a nutshell or a peanut shell who is tyra levon oh. <laughs> wow um so many things um uh how do how do you even put into words Mm -hmm. um the complexity of who we are as women mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's like mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I feel like i feel like would i over exaggerate or would i you know under describe you know myself as as a as a person um uh first and foremost i feel like um my my most important role right now in my life is mother you know mother you know, I heard, you know, you saying to Kyra that, you know, her baby mm -hmm. was upstairs and, yeah. <laughs> you know, that is the thing that's amidst everything that we do is first yeah. and foremost being the best parent that we can be, you know. Yeah. Um, the other thing I am um, is woman, you know, and, and we are so complex in who we are. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many things, um, intricacies that make up women. Um, mm -hmm. And... And I want to say black women, definitely. We're just, we have so many layers, you know, because we have so many things that encompass who we are. Um, struggles, personal struggles, personal emotion, you know, things that we want to accomplish, over accomplish, you know. Um, so for me, that's that's the first thing and the first two things. And then the, the next thing is just um, artists. You know, mm. I, I love the artistic ability that I've been blessed with, you know, took me years <laughs> to become good and grown to really understand, you know, what it was and what it was for. But mm. now that I have that and I know that it is a it's an amazing thing to be able to call myself an artist, you know, so. Wow. Um, yeah. Yeah, I could go on, but I'm I'm where they say I'm every woman, it's all in me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. And that's it's beautiful. That's beautiful. It is. And Kyra, what do you say to that? Because you know, you, we, we kicked off talking about so many different things. And now mm -hmm. the four of us are together on this platform, and it's a very powerful energy in the space um, yes. at this moment in time. And I really do feel this authenticity, this thread of authenticity running mm -hmm. through this conversation because, you know, right. without being authentic, we can't really move forward. Even we with our own to. personal mm -hmm. struggles, we've got to look at the man in the mirror. Yeah. Um, we've got to delve deep, we've got to go within within yeah. you know so it's not it's, it, yes there is a reflection but we have to go within and within us we have our priorities and motherhood is the utmost priority because they are our future we have a responsibility to be the best we can be mm -hmm. for our children mm -hmm. for our nieces our nephews mm -hmm. or just somebody that we know down the road who um is you know just needs that that little guidance and we can do the best we can be do for mm -hmm. them by being the best that we can be for ourselves an example right. to other people to hopefully inspire and show them yes you can move forward you can go through life experiencing mm -hmm. creating experimenting and it can come out wonderfully it can come out maybe not so wonderfully but you know what it's okay Mm -hmm. because we're learning we're experiencing yeah. and i think that's the most the most important thing i'm not striving for perfection within my art i'm striving for absolutely. experience absolutely I'm, i feel like i'm coming on ladies i feel like i'm a new <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, Amen. and like you say, we Amen. have so many layers. We have so many layers within us. And all those layers, exposing those layers as an artist leaves you vulnerable. But like I said, it says, when you lose yourself, I, this, I love this quote, when you lose yourself in your art, that is when the art comes to life. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we have to yeah. encourage each other be a great support system for each other because you can go down the rabbit hole when it comes yep. to creativity so true you know oh, and oh. that vulnerability all those energies that you leave yourself open to true. can come in mm. and it can rip you from the inside if you're not too careful as well so if we've got a great energetic um pool of women people around you that can mm. hold you together as well in your vulnerability, that's an amazing place to be. Yeah, yes, absolutely. It, is. Yes, it, it is. takes a village to raise a child. Yes. But I've been saying it takes a village yes. to raise all of us because then we're yeah. held accountable mm -hmm. to say what yeah. you say. Yeah. We do, we affect each other so yep. greatly, you know, mm -hmm. the time that we take, the time that we spend. You know, I have, I have granddaughters nine and seven and mm -hmm. they are very conscious of being a woman <laughs> one day you know being a woman <laughs> yeah. one day they are they know it's important they are mm -hmm. wild thinkers and very deep thinkers they're wiser than their years they have yes. tremendous educational opportunities you know i mean seriously they they realize the importance of its their future that's at stake and they have to i mean the seven-year-old is well when i grow up i want i want to have a good job so i'm going to go to college she's seven you know <laughs> and we we honor them who are forward because we've made this world you know maybe not us personally we all have our you know our footprint that we put on mm -hmm. the world for energy all kinds of things but each of us has that responsibility to look just at the simple things. That's why motherhood is so, so amazing. Mm -hmm. you know, who affects mm -hmm. in prison? You ask prisoners, you know, who, why are you here? It's because either their mother didn't acknowledge them or they couldn't, you know, they couldn't deal with the personalities. It's mm -hmm. a magical thing to be a mother. And to have this person mm. who is not you, it's not many you, this person mm. who is their own person, and you are shepherding that, mm -hmm. you're developing that. And now, you know, you brought up art, my dear. Mm. Art, <laughs> art is where the real renaissance in our culture is going on. Mm -hmm. I've become very involved in the NFT community non-fungible tokens yeah. for if, <laughs> for any of you out there that don't know i'm obsessed with it because mm -hmm. i have seen art from traditional art and i'm very involved in the art world in the traditional art world and in the digital art world the future of art because mm -hmm. one man had an idea people to make five thousand paintings one every day and then put them together in a collection, put it on an NFT. And it sold at Christie's, it was auctioned off for $69 million. Whoa. And the blockchain, they could not have done that without the blockchain, mm -hmm. without cryptocurrency, yeah. without the consciousness that mm -hmm. this is revolutionizing art. Because art mm -hmm. has always been political and it's mm -hmm. always been controversial. You mm -hmm. owe it to yourself as an artist to be controversial and provocative in all the ways, in the mm -hmm. ways of our culture, because we create our culture. Go around the world. I've been everywhere almost. And all around the world, everybody listens to music. Everybody has mothers. Mm -hmm. We have the same things. But now we've got different opportunities. The pandemic created opportunity yes, it did. for <laughs> equity, for things to step forward, for all of us to have financial freedom. Mm -hmm. And by that, I'm very specific what that means. Mm -hmm. That means maybe 4% of what you make, maybe that's what you can live on. 
lavishly 4% and you hold on to the rest of your money, you save it. Because times, woo, times, times are coming, times are here. You just hear yeah. the metaverse. We've heard that a lot recently yes. about the metaverse. Yes. Mm -hmm. The metaverse belongs to no one. And trademarking a name, meta, you know, hey, that was a brilliant, a brilliantly conceived business move. Mm -hmm. But the metaverse belongs to all of us. I am doing digital games now. I'm very, very solidly in the world of digital games, of the future of AI, of VR, of NFTs. It's mm -hmm. going to change and has begun already. It's going to change the world and the way we keep data. It's all about data. It's all about content. It's mm -hmm. Esther content. You need to do your show on an NFT. We'll have to talk after. Yes. <laughs> Listen, yes. I've been I've been in talks with uh, this company that contacted me who were launching. They've got artists on there already. And is, you just speaking about it is a is a big come on. Information. Get on yes, with it. it is. Yeah, because I've already yes. got they've already given me the information. They've set me up. They're talking me through the NFT, giving me yes. allowed me to come on their platform. And it's invitation only on this particular platform. Yes. I feel so honored. Honestly, I can't believe that they contacted me. And I need to see that through. Get it, get it up Please there. Please do. I've got, I've got my do. wallet. I've got my, I've got my crypto. Okay. Okay. You know, <laughs> yeah. and that's where I'm going to channel through. You know, NFT art yes. expression for people wow. to um, to purchase, so that we can have that financial freedom. That's right. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. they're you trying to it. lock it down, aren't they? They try they to lock it down. They can the to. metaverse, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It yeah. belongs to no one. It belongs to everyone. Mm -hmm. It belongs That's to right. all of us. That's I'm right. Building a metaverse. Mm -hmm. I'm developing wow. games. Coders amazing. are my fantastic friends around the world that I spend my little nerdy time in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, many, many classic artists are afraid of technology. But mm. technology is where we're going. That's what, yes. you know, a lot of people are leaving the planet. You know, we see it already. Mm. We just aren't thinking about it that way. But that's what it is. You know, every entrepreneur that I talk to who is a, a serial entrepreneur is mm. talking about off world, your music, off world, your art, your creativity, whatever it is. It's going to be mm -hmm. off world. So your contracts mm -hmm. should say that it's not the world anymore. It's the universe as ridiculous as that sounds as, right. but the future is upon mm -hmm. us, whatever your, op whatever your opportunities and they are coming. Believe me, things are being set up as mm -hmm. black women. Mm -hmm. We're in a prime position because of the drive that we have and the focus we have and the wrongs that have been done to mm -hmm. us in all kinds of ways, mm -hmm. which is an impetus to do more and be free. Mm -hmm. Be free to do mm -hmm. what you want to do. And you are. Here we are. Free. free. Technology. Free, free. free. Uh, oh, technology. and I wrote, got to be free. Hey, what can I say? All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we are right now. I'm so proud of each of you. Thank but you. go harder. Go yes. hard. Think in a way you always you've thought of things and then you say, Oh, I did not think that, did not do that. Now's the time. Yes. Exactly. Do all of that now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going on a different path. And this is from my spirit. Mm -hmm. We're yes. going on a different path. Because Absolutely. we're setting up in the times that everybody's parents told them were coming. Everybody's parents. You, you've heard it all your life, whether you believe. And, you know, I, I'm not going to just go into uh, about God, but I just believe God's will. You know, I do. And I trust. Is it? And that's why I'm led right now to certain directions and stop in certain directions. Don't ignore mm. those stops. 
Mm. Very important. <laughs> mm. What is that's the thing they say? That right there is a word. That's a word Ooh, right there. Stuff mm -hmm. people, people talked and we didn't hear, but God heard what they said. So mm -hmm. very so, focused. I can't, I can't preach religion. I'm, I'm not about religion. I'm about God, you know? Mm -hmm. But that's now is the most important time. I'm not going on, you know? That's <laughs> the most important time. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. That was really powerful. And I know Tyra, a lot, you know, for both of you, Kara and Tyra, look at that rhymes, isn't it, Tyra, Kara? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but Tyra, there was something that Suzay said um, towards the end that really got you. What, what was that about to you? Mm, when she said, don't ignore the stops, baby. Yes. Mm. That mm. right there, I could run around this house, but I'm gonna stay on with y'all, okay? <laughs> that, and hey. and, and mm. just so we're we're very transparent, you know. I, I love when you said I don't do religion, I do God, you know, and and, and I realize that we live in a world that is so afraid mm. to represent what you represent because you're so we're, we have to be so worried about offending because mm. everybody mm. is so sensitive okay um yeah. but me um who i am and what i stand in um my truth is i believe and i have that right to believe that mm. i would be nothing if it was not for the god that i serve Yes. And I don't care who likes it, loves it, embraces it. You don't have to do what I do, you know. Mm, yes. And some people are just so afraid to say, yes. God, you know what I mean? So when you said, you know, I don't do religion, I do God. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you for, <laughs> for making that real and yes. plain. You know what I mean? Because yeah. what happens is when you're in a setting where someone gives permission you know, and I, I hate that we live in a world where we are in the most judgmental society that I've ever seen in my lifetime, mm. where someone can go back <clears throat> 25 years of my life and, and rip me to pieces <laughs> over a mistake I made in college. I mean, I get it. You know, even 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 down to the, the, the black face. I get it. I'm I'm a black woman. Okay, do not mistake. Okay, <laughs> but I don't want someone to lose their job thirty years later because of some. I'm sorry. Do you know how much dumb stuff I did in college? Absolutely. <laughs> do you know how much stuff I did in my life that if somebody could open up and rip through, they would be like, oh, uh, uh, stop her. We're not, no one is perfect. And I think we live in a society where, you know, I'm watching people lose their livelihoods over things that they did as children. And, yes. and I feel like, you know, if God can forgive us, who in the hell are you? Who, who are you to pick somebody's life apart? So when you said that, I was just like, wow. And then you, you followed up and you said, I wrote it. Don't ignore the stops. Yeah. Baby, you better look for a song coming with that. Don't ignore the stops because that is so important. I wrote a song uh, called Shine. And in the, shine, in the song, it says, um, my mom used to say to me all the time, um, don't focus on the falls, focus on the winnings. You know, my mother was was one of the coolest just she was so instrumental in the woman that i am but she was always 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 positive and she used to tell me that all the time you're going to fall but the real the real truth and the most important part is you're going to get up because that's who you are it's how you were built and how you were raised so when you said don't ignore the stops it made me think of you know something my mom used to tell me all the time when she would say some things and some people are just not meant. And that which is not meant to be God will not allow. And that okay. which is not supposed to go away, he will not let pass. Yes. He's oh. not going to let someone leave you or leave your life 
friendship, job, child, whatever it is, if it's supposed to be there. And yeah. if it's not supposed to be, he will get it out no matter what he has to do to rip it away from you. He will do it. Yeah, so I, I just, when you said don't ignore the stops, I'm like, oh yeah, that's about to be a song. That's, that's <laughs> and maybe it could be something that we all get together and, and put together. Hey, yeah. I'm a great fan hey. of collaboration. I am yeah. seriously, there's, yeah. there's, there's a real energy of, you know, we, we've come through, and I know, I know all of us have worked so incredibly hard to mm. get to people. Yeah. Sometimes people just don't know. You know, even yeah. sometimes I've sat here and right. things have happened, and I've just got to sit here and do what I got to do. But yeah. I, and I <laughs> yeah. Too, yeah, and for me, it's always about in the getting up in the getting up. And I'll just share something before we go to an ad break that a couple of weeks or months ago I, I just said over the air that um something had happened that week and i didn't really want to expand on it at the time but at the mm. time my son and he's fine but he had been stabbed um mm. and mm. i remember i got this phone call it was a thursday i just got this phone call around eight o'clock mm. and he said mum i've been stabbed and the phone went dead now mm. that no. was, you know to me that was the worst part because then it's almost like where, where do i go looking for my son oh, God. Um, mm -hmm. and blah 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 but he he was fine the wound wasn't that deep but you know it's this whole thing of sometimes people oftentimes people see us you know moving through life you just don't know what you're dealing with in the background and mm -hmm. That's I, right. I'm, not, I'm not saying for others who can't rise like us I'm not judging them at all, mm. but in terms of being strong women and in, mm. in terms of um, being the sheroes for others to, I wouldn't necessarily say to look up to, but to respect and to experience from, mm -hmm. we do, I take it very seriously, my role in everything that I do, mm -hmm. because I know that, like I keep saying, it takes a village mm -hmm. to raise a child. Mm -hmm it takes the village and oftentimes as us as women we have so much and we need that village without the competition yeah. community oh, we, need, we need the community <laughs> absolutely Ooh. the community I, of sisters you know like when you see in the village raising the children there's a mm -hmm. community of women yeah breastfeeding yeah. the other ba woman's baby yeah. you know there's there's no judgment they just get together and make it work collectively. Yeah. So yeah. even though we're individuals, yeah. collectively we are great. Individually, mm. we are amazing. Mm. You know, that's it. That's it. You know, a person Ooh. can do amazing things on their own. Mm -hmm. you know, your imagination can fly, but mm. when you collaborate, you add inspiration from each other, mm. and it takes it to a different level. And mm -hmm. this once again is about the consciousness of our culture what's Absolutely. going on right now we must part of what i'm doing is is building a co a collab that is a you know a, a huge effort because mm -hmm. how many people are on the same page at the mm -hmm. same mm -hmm. oh. oops okay oh. that's our cue to go over for <laughs> to an <laughs> no, <all right. laughs> okay. okay so ladies and gents you are listening to on the sofa with yours truly esther austin and i've got three incredible um women sitting on the sofa with me i've got the lovely tyra levon all the way from the us of a i know it's just over the pond but it makes it sound really okay. elaborate, doesn't it? <laughs> right. i've got kyra simone a beautiful uk artist and also co-hosting yeah. with me to say green so see you on the other side mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you want to go up the ladder to the roof where we can see every much better? Up the ladder to the roof where we can be closer to heaven. Up the ladder to the roof. Okay, that's what happened.
Okay, 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 baby. So, hold on. I gotta go. They got me back. Okay. So, ladies and gents, you're listening to On the Circle with Esther on a Sunday evening. It's been an interesting, I would say energetically, it's been an interesting evening because there's, you know, so much is has been happening in the background with the show and everything. Mm-hmm. But um, we're also having a great conversation. And I'm going to put this out. Um, once we finish this, I can download it and put it out. Um, and link everybody to it again. Um, because just to let you know, um, I think it was Warner Bro, because I played a Chaka Khan track um, at the beginning. Looks like they oh, can me off the air. Um, Ooh, interesting. So, yeah, and that's not mm. happened before. I've played loads of different tracks on my show over the past few months, mm. and that's never happened. But, you know, it's going to go back up anyway. I'll just edit it out because this conversation is nurturing, it's hearty, it's meaty, and, you know, people need to hear your voices, ladies. So, Tyra, what I would love to hear from you now, a little bit more about your music. All right. Um, and, you know, wish, um, Wishing on a Star, why did you choose that particular track? Because you sang it incredibly well. I mean, mm. I had it on rewind. I mean, you can't really rewind, but I had it on rewind. Play, <laughs> so <many> play. <laughs> play. Right. Uh, went to sleep with it, you know, traveling with it because you know, you've got oh. a very powerful, very powerful rendition of it. So why that particular track, Tara? Hmm. Um, I was looking for uh, a cover to do. Mm-hmm. And um, I spoke with Marion Meadows, who referred me to a friend of his named Ronnie Song. And yeah. when we spoke, you know, he asked me, you know, what is it? What are you looking for? Can't hear. And I was. You can't hear me. She can't hear. <laughs> uh oh. I can hear. I can hear. We can hear everybody. Yeah, we can hear you, but you can't no. hear us. Oh, yeah. no. You can't hear us. Um, we need to be rebuking something tonight, man. <laughs> right. Honestly, we're getting through, though. We're getting through. We yeah. are. Right. Sorry. Continue, Tyra. Apologies. So, no problem. Um, so, yeah, um, he referred me to Ronnie, and Ronnie, you know, asked me kind of what it was that I was looking for mm. <laughs> in the in the sense of a cover. And I wasn't. I couldn't really say definitively mm. what I wanted the cover to be. Yeah. Still can't hear us. Oh, okay. I'm going to leave. Come back. So, <laughs> um, I couldn't really definitively say what I was looking for in the way of a cover. Mm-hmm. And he told me, you know, listen and just, you know, tell me, you know, what you think. So I went on and listened to some of the things that I had from Marion, and um, wishing on the star was like the first one that popped up. Yeah. And as I was listening, I'm like, this is it, Mm. you know? And I think it hit me because I was at a place in my life of a a major transition. And um, it spoke, I think, everything that I I needed to say that I was feeling. It kind of gave me every bit of it. So... Um, I sent it to him. I said, this is what I want. And, you know, he was like, okay, tell me what you're feeling or what you're hearing. And I said, I need it. I need it to be felt. I need need people to feel it. You know, I need, I need them to feel what's in my heart. And he was like, okay, 
let me, you know, let me go in and, you know, produce it because of course it's different from when Marion played it just on a jazz set. It's a little yeah. different song. So um, when he sent it back to me, I was sitting at this very desk and I literally just cried. I just sat here and just cried. It was like, I had, you know, you hear something, you get chills. I was like, oh my goodness. It's like he was inside of me. Like he felt exactly what I felt. So um, I just sat there. I, you know, I sent him a message to let him know, like, perfect. This is great. Right. And then um, uh, I sat here and I sang, you know, what I felt, what I thought the song would, you know, need. And he, you know, I sent it to him and he was like, wow. So I told him, I said, look, I'll record the vocals, you know, because at first I was going to go to him to record the vocals. And I was like, no, I'll do it here. I can do the vocals and backgrounds myself here. And he said, okay, go ahead and do it. I want to see what you come up with, you know, your authentic version of it. And um, a gentleman here by the name of uh, Gerald Damien um, does a lot of my vocal engineering. I go to him to record. And it was just amazing. Like singing it just, it was awesome. So when I sent it back to Ronnie, he was like, wow. Like <laughs> you really did justice. And I, you know, that made me feel good. For someone who was Ooh, who cool. knew the people who wrote the song and who, yeah, who produced right, it yeah. to yeah. say, you know, if this man was living, he would be so in awe of what you did with his song. And I'm like, that's great. That's great. Okay. Oh, Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie, Kyrie. Gonna go. Yeah, just give me give me five minutes because I can oh, hear okay. my I can hear my daughter. I think she uh oh see that's yeah. Yeah. Mom, that's mom, mom, if I can come say. back, I'll be back. <laughs> okay. All right. Bless you. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. <laughs> see, that that oh, mother, God. that mother thing, right? That's it. That's the stuff. <laughs> yeah. But, but you I, know, you're you're some singer, you know, you are some fantastic yeah. singer. Oh, thank and, you. Um, that I, is such a I, such an honor coming from uh, you. But it, it's you know, it's just straight up. It, oh. The thing the thing about the marvelous thing about meeting new people and hearing artists, you know, being exposed to other artists and and getting the the blessing, the blessing you know, of, of talent mm -hmm. is one healing thing that we don't really pay enough attention to. And that's part of the transformation. I think that the world, you know, music has become so much more personally important to people yes. because of being locked in. And, you know, we all love our music anyway. Right. And we love our, all of our entertainment, all of right. our time takers, but, but, that music's on a different plane. Right. And when you can bless people with your talent, the way that you do, it's just, you know, our spirits have to be touched and healed and right. it's necessary to people. Right. People everywhere have music yeah. that is, mm -hmm. you know, that is special to them. And that represents a, a certain thing or a certain time in their lives that they, they can, it takes them there. Right. It's right. an obscure thing. But I, for instance, I mean, let me just say about hip hop, because hip hop has been very kind to me. Okay. Mm. And because of samples, helped raise my son, you know, and, mm. and I'm grateful to that and been respectful, you know, pretty much, mm -hmm. you know, some people are, are just wild anyway, go say all kind of stuff, you know, in the, in the music, <laughs> but that's, right. you know, they're entitled. They're right. entitled to, to that, but um, I don't know. I think it's such a special place to be in. It's such a blessing to have that gift and to not, to do what you want to do with it, right. to bless people. That's a, a real, you know, you give it forward, give that forward. Mm -hmm. I've been places around the world, you know, and people come up and they say, I heard your music or this song affected my life. Mm -hmm. That's deep. You know, yes. I'm in Germany. I'm in, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm in the Netherlands somewhere or in Mexico City somewhere. And, and people heard your music. Yes. Yeah. I was very, mm -hmm. very in 
enlightened to listen to you last night. Just thank you. I so appreciate that. When you said something, Tyra, also you wanted to be heard. You know, you wanted to be heard. You said, and it's a bit background noise going on as well. It's okay. Um, you wanted to be heard, and <laughs> when you were singing that song, you can you were singing from the soul, from the heart. You could see that expression, and mm. just having that awareness of this is the place that I'm at at this moment in time. This is how I'm feeling, but also this is what I'm sharing and giving mm. the world. That's right. where power lies because you were conscious. You know, Suze talked about the consciousness of it as well. Mm -hmm. So you were conscious with that gifting. It's just like with Kyra mm -hmm. when she was singing, kissing you. You know, mm -hmm. that that's that awareness, that consciousness of just by kissing someone, you are going deep with the stuff that's touching the soul, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not just surface stuff. Yeah, that's right. Right, right. Art mm. is never surface, though, is it? A true art, it's never surface. It's always from. Mm. Some people say it comes from a place they can't describe. Mm. Their hands move and write lyrics. Their hands move and paint images. And there's no thought process. It's it's, it's like there's a flow that yeah. comes through. Given it could be described yeah. in so many different yeah. ways, mm -hmm. but there's something that seems to just flow through mm. and come forth. And it takes a little bit of you as well. So that's so that again, mm. that vulnerability lies. So it's an amazing gift to the world that if we can really just open up as much as we can and pour as much of our energy and our feelings mm -hmm. and our emotions. And Tyra was talking about recording it at home. I love doing that. I love recording by myself. I love writing by myself <laughs> without another energy there because sometimes the energy can interfere yeah. with yes. the artistic flow. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's good to collaborate, don't get it twisted. Mm. Collaboration though, a really good collaboration comes with a lot of trust, especially in that vulnerable place mm -hmm. yeah. and a lot of growth within That's self good. to be expressing yourself in a way that I personally find you, I can express myself a lot more open when I'm alone, <laughs> when right. there's nobody yeah. else there, because then I'm free to, oh, that doesn't sound quite right. 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 And no one's telling me, oh, that was a bit rubbish, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, because in the not so quite right, I then move into something. That's the one. Mm. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's you do. true. You do, have you, to, you do have to trust yourself. You do. Mm -hmm. that's, you know, that's the last sentence, you know, it, it really is. You have to edit, you have to know when to let stuff go too. But I have to say, and I know I've been blessed in this, I've had collaborations with some of the greatest artists in our lives, you know, that's, that's something that sometimes you're called upon to do something special, you know, in mm -hmm. front of people and hey, you know, you got to know, oh, oh, this is a moment. Let me do that. <laughs> you know, and you can. You trust yourself. And the experience, I heard you say. I came for the experience. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, that's it. That's the experience, too. That, mm -hmm. okay, I'm on the hot spot, but okay, you know, I can handle it. I'm going to make it work. <laughs> yes. Ow! Ow! You can handle it, you know. You can. You do. Still and it's not ego. You can do it anyway. <laughs> It's, Build a fear right. and you do it anyway. <laughs> right. You know, that's, I'll, you know, push you on. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just play an excerpt of Happy um, with yourself, the former Supremes, because it just shows your energy and your spirit. And as, as each and oh you've spoken <laughs> about um, your take on your artistry, you know, it's also interesting that you in infuse um your own personality also mm -hmm. into oh. the music i mean you know tyra shared about how she was feeling at the time when she did i um, wishing on the star and how she infused herself into that but it was something that she was going through as yeah. well um kyra yeah. spoke about you know this her song game kissing you and what it meant to her mm -hmm. and what she wanted to elicit out of this and then yourself mm -hmm. suzanne um 
um, you're like this bunny, this battery, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> energy, high energy, you know. That's right. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, you each infuse your own personality into that. And right. what's really nice, there's an awareness. I keep coming back to this whole thing of awareness yeah. and consciousness of self because everything, as we spoke about in the beginning, goes back to you know the man in the mirror what, what do we need to do where do we what do we need to change and to be comfortable and as tyra had said to give ourselves permission to to deal with it don't put it on a different carpet because it's gonna show up on some okay. level um so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go over to another break and then i'm going to see where the other artist is kyra and Tyra, um, is is an incredible having you on. When you're ready to go, just, just let me know. But I'm loving this conversation. I'm loving if you would want to stay for the rest of the time. You know that would be my privilege. If you have to go, that's still my privilege. It's just a privilege having you all on, anyway. Thank so you. I'm just gonna this concert, and you'll see what I mean by, um, you know, this lady's Energy. personality. And then also, I'm just gonna play. I mean, I'm not really into Halloween, but for some reason, I just thought I'd play this excerpt from Michael Jackson's thriller as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> confronted primarily with a moral issue. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to buy this. The heart of the question is whether all Americans are to be afforded equal rights and equal opportunities. Put it on a counter. Whether we are going to treat our fellow Americans as we want to be treated. I'm so tired of being lowered down and mistreated because I'm black. Now, pigs must be flying, because St. Julian's High School is accepting colored children. They have the number one school in the country. They're integrated now. That'll make it safe. What if something happens to you? We won't be able to protect you. Whites, we were never meant to live with colors. We got to be the change that we wish to see in the world. You don't belong here. We can't ask the people to stand with us if we ain't willing to stand for them. Come up and put them down. I could have died, Rosalie. No, we are Rosie, you got everything you need to break through right here. Things have been peaceful around here. Last thing we need is somebody stirring the pot. <sighs> okay. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're listening to On the Sofa with yours truly, Esther Austin. And I have three incredible <laughs> women with me today. Um, the UK artist, Melonix, I think they had trouble getting on. And um, the young girl, she's called Three Bomb. She's got an incredible single out at the moment called Forever. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm hoping she'll come on. I, like I said, I think I just put my, my timings mixed up because of the change. But, um, and, you know, I very much believe that everything happens for a reason as well. Um, and, uh, you know, I would definitely have them on another time. So, ladies, I'm going to ask each and every one of you now, um, who have been some of those who've inspired you? You know, people that you've looked to that have <laughs> helped to champion you on your way mm. <laughs> so many oh so, so many i think my biggest inspiration and championship has been my parents 
-hmm. and my grandmother as well she's not with oh, us yes. at the moment um yes. but i've been so gosh blessed lucky fortunate mm -hmm. to have had parents that said go for it <laughs> you know showing up at, at, at various gigs you know my dad has showed up you know as, as much as they can do crying singing on stage with my mum, mm. <laughs> heavily influenced from my grandmother's just basically saying live the life you love you know yeah, yeah live the life you love and be with the person that really knows you and feels you you know, she sat me down and, and, and gave me so many gems. So I would say that that's my biggest inspiration because it's been with me. I think it's just passed through to me through my DNA, mm -hmm. you know, and then they just topped it up with their energy. My dad's a musical man. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom's so proud of me. She's always telling me how proud and how she feels inspired just to get back into the music again when she sees me just doing my thing with children and, you know, and other life responsibilities. <laughs> And then if it comes down to artists growing up, it was Prince and Madonna. Absolutely, absolutely just loved the artistic expression that they had, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> you know, um, we li I listened to a lot of Soka and Zook, Lovers Rock, Roots, Reggae Music, Country and Western, and all of it. <laughs> All of it had its influence. And then, you know, as I got older, I started to listen to a bit of soul you know, and I got into Erica Badu oh, and, yes. oh my goodness. Yeah. I got into the sort of R and B Erica, but you know, it's Neo soul, Erica Badu, R and B, mm. you know, from, um, Silk. I don't know if you remember Silk. Oh mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> that voice yeah. is old magical. school, yeah. old, yeah. school right. old school, old yeah. school, Jodeci, yeah. ah. you know, mm. all of that stuff there, all of the expressions of, of whatever it is that they were doing you had boys to men that were a bit calmer you yes. had still mm. that was just ex just just excreting this mm. sexual energy you know <laughs> and then you had jodeci who was just playful yes and just bold and all of that had its influence i on me personally mm. fantastic yeah. for that yeah. Fantastic. And Tyra, yeah. I know you you and your father um sang together. And yeah. um so just share a bit about your um influences. Mm -hmm. Well, I would have to one hundred percent agree with Kyra when I would say first and foremost would be my parents. Um yeah. as she said, my father was a musical man. <laughs> so <laughs> uh everything in my house was all things music. I uh, play yeah. piano, um mm -hmm. Uh, we, I grew up in church. My father was the um, like minister of music, as they say now, mm -hmm. for two of the uh, choirs at my mm -hmm. church. And then eventually I began to play. So I played piano for two of the choirs at my church. So, um, yeah. yeah, he was very, very uh, instrumental in pushing me to, mm -hmm. you know, play and, and, and sing and do the things that I was, I just was natural at doing. Um, I don't think he was so much as enthused when, when I decided to kind of do more R&B. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think he didn't yeah. realize that, mm -hmm. and my parents are both deceased now. Um, they mm -hmm. died uh, in 2005, five and a half months apart. So oh, wow. I had the unfortunate oh. pleasure of burying oh. them back to back. Mm -hmm. So, and, oh. you know, Bye. I I can live up in the blessing that some people do not have, that I had two amazing parents, mm. not one. I had two active, amazing mm. parents. So, mm -hmm. you know, they, though losing them definitely always hurts. Mm. No one wants to be without mm. a yeah. foundation. Yeah. But yeah. the fact that I had such an awesome role model in a father and... Um, an amazing teacher and 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 guy and a mother, you know, and mm -hmm. friend. That that's Very one thing I thank God I could call them friend. You know, oh, yeah. I thought mm -hmm. my father was King Kong. I always say that. You know, he was King Kong. Nobody could touch Tyra. <laughs> hey. 
Okay, be careful if you come for me, because he will come for you. So, I, you know, I think yeah, that's yeah. A, protect him. That's mm -hmm. a strong thing. You know, I always say to men who I am friends with, who have daughters, you are their first love affair. Mm -hmm. Be careful how mm -hmm. you handle them. Yes, because right. They mm -hmm. will definitely navigate to that which they were looking for that you yes. give yes. them. So, yes. You know, I always say to men, you know, girls look to you on how to be loved. And mm -hmm. my father was uh, rough and he was tough, but um, he always taught me to mm -hmm. always, always demand respect when it comes yes. to men. It, if, a, if a man can't mm -hmm. speak to you respectfully or treat you mm -hmm. respectfully, no, that's a no off the gate. Just, you know, and another thing he said to me is know that. Whoever he is when you meet him is who he's going to be for life. Mm -hmm. You you can't, I can't say what he said, but mm -hmm. nothing you can do will mm -hmm. change who he is. No kind of way. Food, finances, love, none of that is going to change who he is innately in his spirit. A man will not change until he decides, he learns, grows, and decides to be different and better. Love mm -hmm. that. Love. So, you know, I thank God that I had, you know, that in, in parents. You know, my mom was Indeed. just, she was just a lady. I always say she was such a lady. And um, mm -hmm. musically, I loved so many people. Uh, Gladys and <laughs> I, um, yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle, The Supremes, Diana mm -hmm. Ross. I loved uh, Marvin Gaye, um, uh, Luther Vandross, oh, Teddy yes. Pendergrass. I'm telling my age, but it's okay. <laughs> not at all. I'm, not I'm at sorry. all. That music's <laughs> out. Come on. <laughs> we, had we had the best, the best of the best. So, yeah. Um, and then, as she mm -hmm. said, then you come up to the Erica Badus, the Jill mm -hmm. Scotts, the Lattices. It's, it, you know, the list goes Layla. on. Layla. Mm -hmm. Layla. Layla. Let me not forget. <laughs> love, love her. Come and on. Her father, mm -hmm. Donnie Hathaway. Ooh. Was a, oh. My father was Donnie Hathaway lover. So, of course. Um, the biggest mistake I made, I think, musically was when my parents passed, you know, I got, of course, all of their stuff. Mm -hmm. And I had all these records. Yeah. Is that a and and a would I ever have thought <laughs> that records would come back? Would well, I? we didn't know. That's I all. Did you didn't know. know. They say hindsight, right? And yeah. I took my father's record <laughs> collection yeah. to the CD depot and let them. <laughs> and when I say now, oh, every time I, every time. I had the, y'all remember the Sugar Hill game? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I had the Sugar Hill yeah. game. I had um, Grover Washington oh. record. Grover and, and Patty. I, oh my God. I, just, I need to just heart. write these names down. Oh I know God. Patty. Oh. Now. <laughs> I sent them to my email card. I was Grover Washington and Patty yeah. LaBelle. Um, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> give, give me the sun I'll give you the moon the best mm -hmm. is yet to come the best is yet to come when I say my father played that until the seat till the record scratched <laughs> and it was like okay can we like get to another song then Donnie Hathaway yeah. took over yeah. Yeah. so yeah Donnie, I, have so many I have to admit yeah, Donnie, Donnie changed the whole scene. Changed you the know. game. <laughs> he did. I'm Donnie afraid so. The game, for real. I'm afraid he did. You know? Yeah. But I don't know. I I I love that you were influenced from so many people and it shows, you know. Yeah. It shows. But oh, the and thing let me about, not forget, I'm sorry. My Anita Go ahead. Baker. No, go ahead. I, go ahead. I love me some Anita Baker. I, I do. Yes. I, oh, yes. I would be so Definitely. disrespectful right. if I forget her because I listen to Anita Baker. To this yeah. day, like all the time, I love. She's so sexy with it. Yeah. She is so sexy with it. Another game change. Yes, you know, yes, she really was. changed she music. Marvin changed oh, yes. popular music. Oh, you know, Steve, oh. Stevie Wonder, Stevie Wonder, yeah, changed music. You know, yeah. I I know the blessing of getting to write with him mm, because great. he. I met him at a time we wrote. I can't help it together was on Michael's Off the Wall. 
Mm, and great. the thing about That's that song, that was, you know, <laughs> that was Michael's, that Michael becoming a man, that album, mm -hmm. musically. And I don't know about anything else, you know, but musically that was Michael's change to adulthood. Mm -hmm. And the music felt different. Right. Know? I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it was a song that I didn't realize had reached as many people because it wasn't a single, mm. but it was a favorite of so mm. many jazz musicians, pop musicians, Michael right. Jackson's, you know, fans, just people across the board. But when Michael passed, that's when I realized because people reached out to me. And it dawned on me, you know, I mean, uh, the influence, the influence that he had it's was so different different. from everybody, from everybody. You know, right. yeah. Even gosh, the people gosh, that are lauded yeah. as such, you know, Elvis and the Beatles <laughs> and the Rolling Stones. Hey, you know, Ray Charles was, I'd say aside from my mother and father was one of, the real directional influences yep. in my life. I traveled around the world. I, I got to see the world because of Ray Charles. Mm. And I was blessed that he had an 18 piece band. You know, I mean, I, I grew up in New York City and went to school for entertainment. I went to professional children's school. My parents mm. were entertainers. My mother had a hit record in 1948. Oh, it's called Honey, Honey, Honey. And wow. uh, and yet she had a master's degree in music and was a concert pianist. That's where I came from, a child wow. prodigy. That's good. My, father, my father sang with Lionel Hampton's band and, you oh, know, wow. during the 40s and right. stuff. You know, music was a legacy that mm -hmm. I was expected to be involved in some way. You know, but I didn't expect to be a songwriter, even though I wrote songs from childhood. It's one of the ways I entertained myself. But the influences from the classical influences, because those were the first real songs. Ah, in your soul, pensier, so to opera. That was right. the foundation. Right. And then, on, and then jazz. My dad was a, a jazz aficionado. Oh, Bird, oh, Charlie Parker, all these people. That music blew my mind and gave me a different, an entirely different foundation. Different place, mm -hmm. different foundation. And then I sang with the Supremes. Oh my God. And Ray Charles, you know, baby, all of that stuff, you know, blues that had become from country music as well, that had mm. become another influence in the world. From well, music change, popular music gave soul to music publicly in a way that has never been reproduced. Ray Charles was an infinitely talented person. Mm -hmm. Piano, a pianist, a pianist, just re astounding to get to That's sit amazing. and listen, mm -hmm. to hear him sing songs like Georgia and all these songs mm -hmm. night after night on the road. Amazing. <laughs> to get to see that influence and still with the same depth, the same mm -hmm. feeling of the core of a song, you know, and then to move forward and, and get to, to work with Stevie Wonder. Those are the two blind, most popular blind artists in the world who both changed the direction. And it doesn't, you know, the, the irony does not miss me to be able to get to work with both of them mm. and then to meet Stevie what? Wonder and, and Aretha. And Aretha changed so much in my life mm -hmm. because, you know, I'd been, my mother was from Houston, Texas. No, my mother was from Nacogdoches, Texas. My father was from Houston. 
I was born in Houston. So there was this, you know, music had a, a way of elevating you, elevating mm. out of whatever and taking you wherever you wanted to go. You know, I don't know. So many women influenced me, but, but my mother who trained me got upset about Aretha because Aretha was singing this religious music and, and I, I tried to sing like her. But I, you know, as a young, young person, a young singer coming up, you hear people and you go, oh, I could, you know, I could, I could, mm -mm. you know, nobody could with Aretha, but, yeah. but I learned <laughs> things. I heard things I hadn't heard before. And it took me in other, to other places of maturity with my voice. Right. And, and Donnie, mm. oh, I was in a cab. I was in a yellow cab in New York with Stevie Wonder and about six other people <laughs> just jammed in there. And Donnie Hathaway came on the radio and Steve went like frozen. And we know what a mighty, mighty singer he is. Mm. When he heard Donnie, he was, he stopped, you know, he goes, that he stopped <laughs> and we all were like you know you hear different things that's the thing about being a pianist i know you understand tyra mm -hmm. you you sing in those chords you hear mm -hmm. other places like you know mm -hmm. that's the influence that's the true influence of music all of it it's all country it's all classical, it's all jazz, it's all pop, it's all whatever, whatever, R&D, you know, emotions. And then the Supremes opened the door for black artists mm -hmm. to go other places that they'd never been before. Mm -hmm. So that blessing, which was different, you know, and I, I, what I brought was a different thing. It was the first time all three ladies were lead singers and it was the most musical all round group with influences sherry Payne is a they call it a pain oh, yes. you know yes. mighty tear up a stage girl you better bring your stuff they call her on the stage with miss Payne. <laughs> what they say about her that she's the little woman with the big voice that's what they say about sherry exactly. a little exactly. woman with the big you voice wow. it's phenomenal um, Phenomenal. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And we're sharing the same space. Like, that's so I cool. I know, right. <laughs> I feel honored. Come on, the future. Really cool. The future is now yeah. for all of us. You know, age doesn't have anything to do with it. I'm proud to, to have lived this long and have seen as much as I've seen. Mm -hmm. and still be interested. Mm -hmm. And still, and still be amazing yeah. looking. Girl. Still Come on. <laughs> I do my it. thing. That's it. I do my <laughs> thing, you know. I write, hey, I have my own record say, company. Black hey. don't yeah. Come on. <laughs> but, but we don't have anything to do with that though, you know. That was no. mama and daddy. That's my, it. my dad my dad was ninety eight. I had him fun till he was ninety eight. Wow. Ooh. That's awesome. But he looked like he was sixty. Mm. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> the jeans. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I told Amazing. a friend a friend of mine that today. He said his grandmother, I think he said she's Gary to be ninety or ninety one this week. Mm. And I was like, you know, my parents died to me what, what I feel like is young. My mother was mm. sixty two and my father was seventy two. You know, when I look at someone who has their parents or grandparents till 90 even, yes. come on 80 just i, I would have took just 80 but you're oh, about 90 man. 91 years i'm like you know a girlfriend of mm. mine's grandmother died and she was 90 i think she was 92 yes. and you know i told her i said please don't take this the wrong way i said but you have nothing to cry about yeah. the only thing you can do is celebrate that is a one it's an amazing blessing to yeah. have someone you know that is any anything to you for 91, 92 years of your life. Of it, you know, you have to celebrate the amazing and just in that, you know, I said, That's and right. then the other thing is how much she had 
to to have poured into you yes. in 91, 92 years. So, um, yeah, I, I, when I look at people and they have older grandparents, mothers, fathers, I'm like, sure. wow, what a blessing, you know? It is. Yeah, that, that's something mm -hmm. to be jealous mm -hmm. about. <laughs> but it gives you hope. You know, it gives you hope. That's Sorry, we've got about 15 minutes before the end yeah. of the show. This, this oh, comes, you're joking. I, I, I know wow. it's come so fast. It's almost two hours. And there's wow. something about, I want to get no way. from yourselves. Firstly, um, I'd like to say for you to Suze in a minute to say a bit about Mary Wilson. We lost Mary Wilson earlier oh, this year. Um, and I had a real privilege of interviewing her twice. She was in my magazine two years ago. And then I met Shit. her in Beverly Hills a few um, years ago. And she is, as they say, that, that humility, that grace, that smile. And then Tyra, I'd like to find out a bit more about your crib event because you got another crib event coming up. Tyra um, did a, um, a event like a mini concert in her own um House. home and mm -hmm. she's got she's going to be doing another one soon if i if i remember correctly mm -hmm. so i'd like to know a little bit more about that and then okay, from cool. all of you i'd just like to um find out you know what's coming next i know suze i'm gonna have to have you back on again because we haven't even touched on your children's <laughs> books yet it's cool so, you get there, you know. moderate the time a bit but this is just something i just yeah. want to play a little bit before we go into those conversations so ladies and gentlemen you are listening to on the sofa with yours truly esther austin with the beautiful suce green the beautiful tyra lavon and the beautiful kyra simone and we're having a real real meaty hearty nurturing authentic conversation yeah. on the way back <laughs> Searching for to ride with me. I see trees of green. You go, never let you go. My baby, they call. Okay, ladies, so like I said, we've got, so I'm going to time it. So I'm going to sort of have to moderate this a little bit more. So first <laughs> of all, Tyra, I'd love to hear about your crib event and the, the next event that you've got coming up. Um, okay, okay, so, so the- uh, oh, Tyra, so Tyra or Tyra? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, <again. laughs> it sounded like Tyra. Tyra. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Tyra, Tyra, <laughs> sorry, I'm taking up your time, Kik, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> It, um, the, crib, the crib concert was um, um, me trying to, you know, stay stay connected, you know, musically. It's so hard with COVID, not being able to do what we love doing. Um, I am very much an up close personal um, entertainer. I I like to be in the know with you know with my audience with my listeners. So and because we could not really do that safely. Um, I decided to host it in my home and I called it the crib concert and it was amazing. Like the energy was on 1000, you know, yes. it's probably about um, 10 people here outside of the band. And uh, it, it just, it just, it just rang true, you know, to my spirit. Like, and someone asked me, you know, you should do another one. And I'm like, yeah. Eh. So, you know, I decided that I am going to do another one. I have a show coming up um, December the 4th in um, Washington, D.C., uh, at the, in the Union Market area. Um, so what I'm trying to do is kind of like a concert series. Mm -hmm. So the crib concert will be part of the concert series. Um, and my uh, what I call uh, my new life tour. So my CD that I'm getting ready to release um, uh, to be determined date uh, is called Chronicles of Life. And it's just for me, it's just the stories of not just my life, but life in general. Excellent. So, yes. Excellent. so I will definitely let you know. I'll keep you definitely informed. 
Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Excellent. Please, Love please. that. Love that. <laughs> and now, Kyra. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's Kyra got coming up? Um, I'm doing, I'm recording my audio book, actually, um, for my poetry book that oh. I've re-edited and edited and edited and edited and now is available on Amazon. <laughs> wow. about my, yeah, so this is something very new for me, having to record, you know, audio, just speak in my poetry. And um, I also started to produce some music for that as well, which is the first time that I'm doing it. You know, it's one of those things, it's just like, got to get up and do it yourself sometimes. So yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm, I'm producing music for that and do my audio book. And I'm also putting together a transformational um, three-part series book as well that involves music as well as, um, you know, spoken word or poetry or hypnosis. Cause I just got qualified as a counselor and a hypnotherapist. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, lots, fantastic. lots to do. <laughs> Woohoo. Thank oh you. my gosh and you know anyone that's listening to this and who's going to listen to this they have only to be inspired they can only be inspired by your stories and from where you've come from yeah. oh my gosh and suze last but not least i'd like you just, just touch briefly you've literally got about five minutes for this um yeah. just briefly on the passing of the late mary wilson and um you know and you know what was her inspiration to you sure well mary Mary was just a consummate entertainer, you know, it was in her heart and soul. And when she became a Supreme, it was, it became her life's work. She was a tremendous ambassador to the world of grace and elegance and just loving and caring, you know, and it was, it was a big shock to all of us. The fans yes. still write many, many, and it's changed their lives because, you know, she was, she was a part of their lives for so long as yes. she was a part of mine, you know, she brought me into the group and we traveled the world together. And, and you realize that's been a long time even, you know, since we did that, but I saw her last at the HAL Awards. Yes. And she, um, she was in a pretty happy state. We sat and talked about her son, Ralphie, mm. uh, who had passed. And we were all shocked because Mary's so vibrant person, yes. you know, had no, no indication. I, I can let that part, you know, just dwell into eternity. Mm. She was a wonderful person who influenced so many, you know. Um, I think what she had as the go for it thing, you know, use what you've got. She did that. Yes. And to the nth degree, she lived, lived like a queen, you know, from one time do like everybody ups and downs you know but mm -hmm. but mostly always up in her heart and soul mm -hmm. and uh, we had a very beautiful joining together and we sat for a, a couple of hours and just talked you know and I cherish that now you know I cherish mm -hmm. it forever but I, I just want to say you know I've I'm changing directions because of how she influenced what I'm doing right now I know she had had a great interest in what's in the future and and like we do. Capital Code, which we have built and built our team and all of that's going forward because of that still that drive mm. that one has and that interest in life and in helping everybody building. We're, we're going to Art Basel, Miami, the first week of December, which is one of the premier art exhibitions in the world. People come from all over. The other, the other art Basel is in, of course, Basel in Switzerland. But we're going there to present our product, our collections and NFTs, which will be out before then. And we are going to put Capital Code on the map because of that, or rather at that event on the world stage. People come from all over the world, not just artists, but collectors, and people from every walk of life, from government, through culture and technology, huge. Miami's becoming a huge tech town. And tech is the future, you know. <laughs> that that little one coming in the room will yes. know a whole lot more about tech than we do. You know? <laughs> it's just, it's yes, just that can. kind of thing. 
you know. Yes. But the, <laughs> the focus yes. has to be on what we want. I have big yes. dreams yes. That, that I was never able to fulfill yes. because we didn't have the technology. And now we do. And consequently, I'm making games. I'm building new I'd universes. To to, uh, yeah, I'd love to talk. I'm, I'd like to talk to you outside of this around I'd that. love to. But I just yeah. want to say everybody, lift up. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing, though, Esther. I would love to talk to you more about the NFTs. So let's mm -hmm. let's definitely please stay connected. And Absolutely. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My thank pleasure. You. And Susie, okay. if you don't mind, um, I'll send the details to Eric for, to, to, for that crossover. Is that right? Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Well, ladies, you know, um, we talk about dreams. Mm -hmm. And as I said before, it's been about 15, almost 20 years for me to get um, here. You know, I started off and now this year, the, the you know, the doors have started to open. I've got one of the trees. <laughs> I've got my... Um, my magazine's now really starting to move up. I've, I've, you know, Sherry Payne is in this autumn issue where she shares her story um, of, you know, um, her journey with breast cancer and also depression. And she shares that openly. And we had this great conversation. Mm. Um, and I'm going to come around to Joyce as well, because I, Joyce, because I think it's important yeah. that, you know, each, every one of you <laughs> have the opportunity to share your individual stories. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, what else? The other things that are building that is this show, you know, having great people on this platform. Um, yeah. And you know, cele celebrating so the indie artists with the old school mm. artists, old school meets new school, and that yeah. celebration of that yeah. togetherness, that crossover, mm. and um, and this other stuff. Because as you know, I do energy work as well. So really, it's there's a lot of there's a real need at this moment in time. For, Indeed, you know, you're doing your counselling, mm -hmm. um, but there's a real need on an energetic level um, to support people as they go through their emotional blocks and even physical blocks um when right. we get really deep with the stuff the stuff that we carry yes. that manifests as the physical stuff um so yes but i just like to say thank you because we've got five minutes left literally <laughs> thank you so much to each and every one of you it's been a real blessing um and i am going to put this up again i, I will take off whatever is blocked it but um just like to say thank you all the best tyra keep us thank um you. keep us notified of your cripples and i'll put it out Ooh, to everyone thank you um, yes, please do. Thank kyra you, you're thank just you. Reporter from me so i we'll know I'll see you soon. <laughs> and Kyra is in the autumn issue of the magazine as well. I'll just play that trailer before we leave. So Kyra's story is also in the autumn issue. Okay. Um, and today I'll be in touch because I would really love that. I'm at that stage now where I'm, I'm ready to leap onto a bigger platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah, it's just sure. time. I, I haven't got time to be, um, you know, when you're free like a bird and I'm at that stage where I've gone through, I'm evolving. Yeah. I know who I am at this moment in time. And that might sound even more But I know I've been places. That's like with you, Tyra and Kyra. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been places, mm -hmm. but I've showed up for myself and I'm going to continue to show up for myself. Yeah, exactly. Inspire mm -hmm. others. I haven't, we, 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 don't, we don't have time to mess around. There you go. That's right. That's right. right. We're going forward and we're speaking. We speaking it, but we have to be authentic mm -hmm. with ourselves. Yes, if yes. we're not mm -hmm. authentic with ourselves, we really mm. can't. We can't be doing this because what are, what are we bringing up to inspire into? And I take that mm -hmm. seriously. I know sometimes people say, "Esther, you're deep." I'm like, "Well, somebody's got to be deep." I can still <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. I can be the child in between that. I can mm -hmm. be the, the wise woman. But we, 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 now it's time for our voices to be heard. For us to really thank you that. for our voices um, to be heard. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. and I'm sure I'm going to have you guys on again um, because you know these are conversations. Yes, it's about our, your your music and supporting yourselves and getting that visibility, but also right. the voices, our voices, our stories, yeah. our experience. Yeah. And this is it. So on that note, ladies, I'm going to, what should I go out with? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to dip into a little bit of kissing you again. Then I'm going to dip into a little bit of um, <laughs> watching on the star. And, um, and I think we're going to go out like that. And I'd like to say thank you to Anthony B. Williams of LN Soul Radio. Thank you for this mm -hmm. platform. Thank you for everybody who's listened in um, and 
So a big hi to my boys. My my youngest actually went off to Budapest. Um, oh. oh. Long, and we took oh. four of them out. Wow. wow. Right. Yeah. Shout out to city. mom, shout out to dad, shout out to sons and daughters. And <laughs> to the grandmummy. So the grandmummy again soon. So um Jeez. yes, absolutely, absolutely. Blessings, lady, and we're gonna thank you so much. I'm so honored to share the space with you guys. Yeah, thank you. I promise you, it's been such an inspiration. Thank you for allowing this and making this happen, Esther. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you, Esther. Thank you for <laughs> being your inimitable self and such a gracious, gracious, kind communicator with the world, with the universe. Don't forget the universe. Mm. Thank you. Thanks for the Absolutely. love. Thank you. All right, bless you. Bye bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>